In this video, we shall talk about internuclear ophthalmoplegia together with one and a half syndrome and eight and a half syndrome. So let's start with the basics of horizontal eye movement. When a person moves his eyes horizontally to look towards a tree, for example, on his right side, here what happens is that the abducent nerve of the right eye will be activated, noticing that the abducent nerve nucleus lies on the right bones. This ultimately will activate the medial rectus muscles of the left eye to move towards the tree as well. And here we have to notice that the medial rectus oculomotor nucleus is located on the midbrain. So not only it is located at higher level, but also on the opposite side of the hemisphere. And in order for this conjugate horizontal eye movement to be done, there should be a connection between the abducent nucleus on the right bones with the oculomotor nucleus on the left midbrain. This connection is done by what is called the medial longitudinal fasciculus. Now imagine what happens when there is a lesion at this medial longitudinal fasciculus. The abducent nucleus will abduct normally with nystagmus towards the target, while the medial rectus nucleus will not move towards the target, producing what is called internuclear ophthalmoplegia. Now look to this man who is told to look to the tree. His right eye moves normally towards the tree, while his left eye failed to adduct towards the target. Now let's go back to the same scenario, but with a lesion of the left medial longitudinal fasciculus extending to involve the nearby left abducent nucleus or the paramedian pontar reticular formation. Here, in addition to the previously mentioned internuclear ophthalmoplegia, the conjugate horizontal movements of the eyes to the left side will be lost as well. Now, let's add the horizontal gaze palsy to the left side to the previously mentioned internuclear ophthalmoplegia and notice that the left eye will lose its horizontal eye movement to both directions and this is called one while the right eye can only abduct toward the target and this is referred to as a half and this will produce the syndrome of one and a half syndrome now imagine that the lesion will extend to involve the facial nucleus as well since the facial nucleus lies adjacent to the abducent nucleus so when we add the seventh cranial nerve palsy to the one and a half syndrome this will produce eight and a half syndrome causes can include stroke demyelination like ms tumors and AV malformations.